Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Blue Plains Dairy in Shellbrook, Canada. So, as you see, we have a new building. We got up to over a million dollars in our bank account, and as usual, had to spend some. Uh, we bought a hog barn. Cookie Creek Modding just released this. So, I am giving it a try. Holds up to 500 hogs. Uh, put 25 senior of each breed right now so 75 total in the hog barn we're gonna come around we're gonna put some corn we've got a fair amount of it uh dry corn i'm not sure if we're gonna see that price go back up again till next winter maybe so we'll put some in there we've got soybeans we could probably put wheat in here as well uh we'll check it out see what we can get away with go in here yeah so that's going under base food so i think wheat would fall under grain uh protein not actually sure on that one i'll have to look into that maybe canola sunflower we'll grab some soybeans as well maybe that's what soybeans will fall under root crop we can get a little bit of that we have some sugar beets left i think all right, so it seemed to dump after I backed out of the game, hop right back in. Not sure what's going on with it, but we are going to run around, grab some beets. That way they got some root vegetable. Potatoes are down to 54. Sugar beets, probably do half a trailer. It says only like 5%, I think. For root crops, yeah, so we don't need to go crazy. And stop it right there. What's that, 18,000? Not too bad. So we get these pigs set up. The barn went pretty fast. Pretty nice little design. I like how it has these tanks out here. You know, you see a lot of the, the new modern hog farms have this whole kind of feed system preset kind of like that we'll see if see there it goes again i don't know why the trailer continues to do this all right so we got the sugar beets in and apparently it's right around there it seems to be the d best dump location so i thought it was more the trailer but it seems to actually be the trigger point over here so do it back towards this propane tank, and it should work just fine. So we're going to run over, grab some wheat, I think, and maybe soybeans, and we'll dump those in there too, and see if we can fill up those other two categories. Alright, so we have 30,000 liters of soybean in here. Uh, I was thinking wheat, but maybe use sorghum, I don't know. I think sorghum might be better for the pigs long term we'll have to check that out but i think i'm going to use some of the sorghum right now because we have some excess of that we have about 150,000 liters so we'll try that and as always everybody if you're here watching this content you're enjoying it just remember one like equals one healthy cow so you can really use your support and help on that helps the channel out as well ultimately though we want healthy cows so thank you all for that if you're not subscribed, go ahead, give that button a click. You might enjoy some of the future content coming out from this channel. And we are closing in on 500 subs as of right now when I record this, which is a milestone I thought I'd never hit. So see, earlier that was the spot. All right, let's try. So very odd strike trigger with this as you watch for this beginning of the video a struggle try it here that's so right on the edge see there it goes and it stopped just short see if we get that last bit there we go so soybeans went into the protein like I thought we'll use the sorghum to get that up so probably about 30 35 thousand for that and the hog should be good for the next month. Then we need to figure out what are we going to buy. We need to think about a new harvester soon. We have the money. 
I'm hoping there's a few more contracts to come along to help us out with that. So who knows? I might save that for next episode though. Being right now, we're just kind of dealing with the hog work. So we'll go with sorghum. Like I said, we're just going to probably get to about 40, 50,000, I think is fair for this. Alright, so 41,000 liters of sorghum. Let's go see where this falls in. Should be under the grain. Unless I am thinking completely wrong on this theory, but should be. With that said, what has been everybody's favorite map so far out in Farming Simulator 22? I know Westby has an update coming out. Out Mountain was just released. I know CJ already has a update coming out for that as well. So there's a few minor things they want to change. Shawbrook's looking amazing as always. As you know, there was three updates on that. Camille's done amazing work with that. Camille's actually got another little side project going on. Looks like sheds. So, pretty excited to see how those unfold. I know DJ Modding's got a map in the works. Uh, Large H has another one. I think Lazy E has one. But I would say right now, Shawbrook holds my heart. Just because I like this kind of farming operation. And then you have, to me, Westby's a fun little challenge. Out Mountain, haven't really dug into yet. But that has a lot of potential as well. Alright, so Sorghum went under base food. Which means... If we're going to do a grain, we probably need to do wheat then. I thought sorghum would have fell under that category, but I guess I get it wrong. So we will haul around here, get it going again, and take on the challenge of feeding the hogs. And I'll show you guys some cool little tricks. I mean, features, I guess, not tricks. So this one, I don't want to use all 68,000 if we don't actually need it in there. It should count as a grain. We'll cut it at about 21. Feed the cows. So I know this episode has been a lot of driving back and forth between the silo and the barn. But there's really not much to do in June. I mean, we could sell some more of our syrup and stuff. We're almost actually out of our sap. Uh, a little bit of a slow process when it comes to doing that, I've seen. It takes a little while to boil it down. Probably have to play around and speed that up a little bit. But, mainly the reason I grabbed pigs too, for some of you wondering. Yes, in FS19, I had some hog farms set up in some of my series. Enjoyed it. Here though, I think we can get good meat sales. There's a rumor that there's a meat market or butcher coming to this map. So if that happens, I would definitely like to be in a position where we can send more than just the Angus beef we have, which we should be having some calf soon. So there he goes, doing it again. No spare capacity for wheat. Oh no, I didn't even think about total. We we're looking at these four categories. Okay, so wheat falls into the grain. You know what though? I'm fine with that. Let's bring this back. We need to move some manure. And ultimately, that about sums up our general task. Just gotta figure out, you know, what size harvester we're we gonna go with. Wanna kinda keep the header the same so I can run two harvesters at the same time. Uh, we have to also look into maybe purchasing another field and turning it into grass, or getting a grass field. They so should be able to just dump it in here, like so. Because we're going to need to lower, uh, load this up with manure. And again, the hog barn. 
Crooked Creek Modding. They have itch.io. They're also found on Facebook. Go give them a check out. They make some other cool barns. I've used some in my series for live streaming on Westby. I like it. Little simple details, which actually, before we go back into the pen over here, to move some of this manure. Swing that open. So, it's a hot summer day, right? Pig's getting hot. Just come over here. Turn off the chainsaw. And I thought I hit it. There we go. So fans are on. Nice little feature. Yeah, but this hog barn, overall, pretty nice setup. Little storage area. We're going to have to put some straw in there eventually. Uh, for right now, I want to move some manure because if you look down at our BGA, we've got some room. So about 28,000. So we'll probably fill up 20,000 here into this. Try not to hit any of our... Angus. Don't need to send it to the butcher block sooner than later. Should be able to come right here. And there you go. Filling up. And if you didn't know, that's where the trigger is on this little manure pile. I did not know that for the longest time. I bought a belt loader, everything, and tried it out on another map. Wasn't working, and then found it. We got about 22,000. Should be fine. Jump out, close the pen up. Uh, straw, we are running through a little bit faster than I planned on. We have some bales there. The loft. How are we holding up on this? So we have 279,000 liters of straw, 220,000 liters of hay. Definitely need to start making some silage. As we get over here, it's not gonna show me, is it? So mineral feed, we are full. We could probably move some out of that. Silage, we're at 279,000, but there's nothing in there for fresh uh, grass or shaft. So we have to Get that taken care of. We could do some of our corn that would involve us purchasing a different setup, which I don't know if we're gonna be able to really do. We could lease, I guess, but we'll have to wait and see. Driving around this way, and I don't know why. I'm thinking, yep, man, I knew that was gonna be an issue. Got talking, just started driving, not really thinking. Um, where I want to back up to is right in here. Should have drove the other way, but this will work. But we want to keep this full. We want to bring some digestite down to the fertilizer location where they produce it. And then we'll be able to sell some of that off, which should make some good money. I mean, last time I checked, it was around thirteen to 1400 a liter, which is a pretty good price. So I'm curious, because that calls for straw, if that'll just go in the same location. I don't think I have to blow it, but let's, let's grab a light amount of it, and let's go from there. Try not to take out the truck here. Like I said, put a little bit in. We'll see how far that goes. Just to get a feel for how this barn works. We haven't really tested it out. I put it down and we just kind of went with it. So that's something we're thinking about. So I'm going to drive right in and see. Nice little logo up there, by the way. Crooked Creek Modding. So it seems to be working there. Problem is, I'm going to hit the rafters. So we're just going to have to keep tapping it back and forth. We don't need to break anything. 
So let's look back at the pigs. And yep, so the straw in through there. I would recommend either a sliding floor or maybe an actual straw blower. We do have a straw blower over there which we can check out after. Uh, but yeah, that pretty much sums up I think what I'm going to do this episode. Like I said, we need to start looking into what we can purchase. And actually, if we look at it, so there's axle flow. No, we want something bigger. That's a not tempting, tempting. So wasn't this. 40 months on it, 40 hours, 15 hours, 21 months, 8 hours, 15 months. Ah, uh, tempting. But I don't think... Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to hook up the normal stuff to it. But yeah, that's going to pretty much do today's episode. I know it's a lot of talking. No time lapses or montages today. But I wanted to just show you guys this cool new hog farm that holds 500 hogs. And then, like I said, hopefully next episode we have a meat factory downtown that should be finished. We need to also purchase a new uh, harvester because I want to run two this year so we can get through the crops a little bit faster. And I'm actually thinking too, we hop in here. Either updating to one of these Demcos for their size or even using, uh, those are the custom mods. Yeah, so those are the custom mod ones. We have the in-game ones here as well, 115, but these are a little more affordable. I'm not sure if they're still having issues with the tarp, but we'll have to check into that. But yeah, again, if you like the content, one like equals one healthy cow. We have a lot of cows, so it would really help us out and the channel if you could go ahead and click that like button. And if you're new to the channel or you've been watching for a while and you're not subscribed yet, and you're starting to enjoy this content, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell if you want, just so you don't miss any of the live streams that I throw up occasionally now and then unplanned. And as always, thank you all for the support. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. Farmer Taz out.